China is not merely or in any sense of the word really a status quo power because I think the, the standard defense you'd get from China is to say that they are trying to uphold their own sphere of influence and their own status quo influence against so-called foreign imperialism and neocolonialism. And then you'd also have a reciprocated observation from the states, which would argue that, you know, there's a status quo world order and China very clearly is seeking to usurp it or to upset it. And I guess the meta observation I want to draw out here is, whilst both parties or both powers in a game often perceive themselves to be merely playing a defensive game, what ends up happening inadvertently is they end up becoming the offensive player or the actor in that sense. Do you think that's a fair read of, of sort of great power contestations, at least in the 21st century? Because I guess the American context with the Monroe Doctrine a hundred and few years back is quite different from, or was quite different from the current state of play between the States and China. Well, I would tweak your language. You say that a country behaves defensively and then it becomes offensively oriented. The word I don't like is becomes. Okay. This is basically a security dilemma. Mm -hmm. And the security dilemma says, in essence, that things or measures that states take for defensive purposes look offensive in nature to the other side. So if the United States pivots to Asia, mm. it perceives that to be a defensive measure. But from China's point of view, it looks like an offensive measure. Furthermore, when the United States talks about containment of China, yeah. the Chinese see this as encirclement. Yeah. So that distinction between defense and offense gets lost. And what ends up happening is that both sides see almost everything that the other side does as offensive in nature. And because it's so hard to read the intentions of other states, exactly. you look at the capabilities. And when those capabilities are invariably seen as offensive capabilities, you deduce from that that your adversary or the other state has offensive intentions as well. And it's this basic logic that helps drive the competition between China and the United States today.